Okay, so we're about to change the oil in this excavator right here. Uh, first thing you want to do always is start the machine up, let the engine get warmed up, especially if it's cold out like it is right now, so that your oil will run out faster. Because with these machines, with the cat anyway, you only have a, you only have a little valve down there. You don't have a oil plug like like you would usually have, and it only lets it run out, you know, so fast. So. You have to let the pool get, you know, hot and thin and it'll run out faster. How you doing? No, no, no. It's a five eight socket. So the first thing you gotta do is take off this plate that you see right here. And there come our plate. <sighs> We're gonna go ahead and take the oil filter off and change it real quick. Hold on, Kyle, let me get this light. Okay. Did I speed the oil up any record? So you always wanna make sure when you take your old oil filter off that this ring right here is on there. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Most people know that, but anyway. Wet it with oil before you put it on. Put a little oil around the ring before you put it on so you can get it nice and tight. Okay. So now that we got our plate back on and oil, all our oil drained out, the next thing we do is put oil back in it. And this thing holds two and a half gallon? Uh, yeah, that's what the thing said. That's what it said online for this, for this particular machine. By the way, it's a 305E2. CR. CR. I know how we're going to do this. You're fixing to see a little redneck engineering. Okay, so we can't pour into this hole because this is in the way. So I'm going to see if I can engineer something without taking that plate off.
redneck phone. Hold that right there and we'll test that. You working? Mm -mm. Lift that phone up. Okay, so redneck engineering is not working. Which is not usual. It would appear as though we are seriously going to have to take this off. Yeah, just 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 lay it right there. I would use a redneck funnel. Hold the funnel, let it fall out. Don't let the funnel fall out. Pouring the oil in. Huh? Pouring the oil in. Pouring the oil in it? Yep. Listen, don't overfill it now, boys. Ah, you took that thing off, didn't you? Yep, you had to. I figured you'd have to take that off. You always want to check your oil when you're pouring it in just to make sure you don't overfill it. Can't always trust everything. Yeah, that looks, well, looks perfect to me, guys. And see, so we only poured two gallons and it says it requires two and a half, so. Well, that looks perfect to me. We okay, and so that's how you change the oil on a cat excavator. <laughs>